What's up guys, we have an awesome video today, but first we're giving away this Reverse Holo Charmander from Vivid Voltage, and since we're opening up some Burning Shadows, we're giving away this Necrozma GX from Burning Shadows. To win both of these cards, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, be subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment down below, and I'll choose a winner randomly. So let's just get right into this awesome opening. Uh, we have a lot of packs to go through, so we're going to go kind of fast, no card trick. We're going to be going through the cards, showing the code, and you guys know why we're here. Obviously, Burning Shadows, with like other Sun and Moon sets, they're very, it's a very tough set. Um, and you really can't expect to get anything from it. So we're just going to be going fast, sorting our bulk, and hoping for the best here. Um, I know it's like practically impossible to pull this Charizard, but uh, David and Adam's Card World were having a sale on, on these uh, sealed... These were sleeve boosters, so they were having a sale on them, and I figured, all right, I really want to get this uh, Rainbow Charizard, so... I'm going to go ahead and buy these and give it one last shot, one last good attempt. And if it doesn't happen, then I'm not going to force it. If I buy like tins in the future, obviously that have burning shadows, then I'm going to go for it. Um, but I'm not going to like go out of my way to buy too much burning shadows unless it's like at a particularly good price. Um, because it's just so hard to pull this card. But if I could have like any modern Charizard, um, like between like Champion's Path and. Um, uh, sorry, I'm blanking right now. Between Champion's Path and like Twin Fates or this, or like even like the Evolution of Charizard, I would definitely want to get one of these, even if it's not in the best condition, um, because I know like condition matters a ton with uh, with this Burning Shadow. Sorry, I just realized my camera stopped recording. Um, I think I lost like 20 seconds there, but let's just keep on going. Uh, forgot where I was in this pack. I'm guessing I already sorted out the rares. Yeah, I have no clue why that happens. I noticed that happens sometimes, so. I'm going to have to figure that out eventually, but let's just keep it going. We have a lot of packs to go through and I don't want to take too much time. Completely forgot what I was talking about too, but... Oh yeah, I've... with Burning Shadows, the print qualities on cards can be pretty tough. There we go, at least we're pulling one Charizard, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and see what the quality of this card is. I was really hoping we could pull this one. The centering is really bad, but what I'm mostly concerned about is the print quality. Whether or not we have... Oh yeah, you guys can just see that. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. I guess this like burning shadow, this burning shadows reprint, just not super good quality wise. But yeah, it would be really awesome to pull the Rainbow Charizard, even if it's in in condition like that. I just want to check that off the list. But I'm definitely not gonna put my expectations too high. We're opening up 36 packs, which is supposed to be like a booster box. So as long as we get like one secret rare, I'll be happy. Even though the other secret rares aren't worth too much. There's actually the um, the secret rare energies, which are worth a good amount. So that'd be really cool to pull one of those. I also think that Rainbow Dark Rise is in the set, so I would love to pull that as well, as it's one of my favorite Pokemon. Here we get a Hollow uh, Raichu, so that's cool. There we go. Let's just keep it going. Sometimes when I'm doing these fast openings, um, I get too caught up in like getting the opening going and like getting in a groove. And since I'm like not reading the names of the Pokemon, I kind of forget to to talk sometimes. But I'm really happy with that Charizard. Something that I've been thinking about lately is that uh, I wondered like what the majority of like the Pokemon trading card like community is made up of. Like what percentage of people that uh, buy cards are kids? I'd imagine that it's mostly like people aged like 18 through like 30, but I'm not really sure. And the reason why I wonder that is because when these kids are like 25 years old and start working their own jobs and have a little bit more money to put into Pokemon, uh, if they're still into it. Man, we've only gotten one hit so far. At least it's been a, a good one. Um, the, what, what they're going to find nostalgic is going to be like Sword and Shield characters and um, Sword and Shield era Pokemon, like uh, maybe Zacian and whatnot. Um, as we got this Hollow Deancey. And they're going to look back at like Champion's Path and be like, wow, I remember when that was really cool. So yeah, I've just been wondering like how that's going to impact the hobby. Because like a lot the Charizard and whatnot, the Charizard and whatnot is like a, a collectible because of we have the Simsphere and uh, Paul Sand. Because it's nostalgic to people, and also I guess like it's really cool for for children nowadays. But a lot of Sword and Shield cards obviously aren't collectibles because they're super new. But I wonder once they become nostalgic, um, how much they'll be worth. Oh, looks like we have something here. What do we have? We have a Gardevoir GX. All right. I might have anticipated that a little bit a little bit too much. I hadn't pulled this card, so that's very nice, but 
the edges kind of looked a little bit like rainbowy to me so i got particularly excited there but yeah just hoping for at least one secret rare hopefully it's a pokemon um i pulled like um bodybuilding dumbbells before from burning shadows which is cool but not necessarily the secret rare i'm trying to pull i've also gotten i think it was tapu fini yeah i think tapu fini is a, a rainbow rare in the set and when I say Rainbow Rare, I mean that like interchangeably with like Secret Rare. Soft Keys and another Porygon Z. Okay, so I think we're starting to get halfway done with these packs. So before I, I open this, before I start this video, um, these were all, these were all in, in, sorry, I'm stuttering. These were all in sleeved blisters. So these aren't just like random packs from random places. Um, they're sleeved blisters, so they shouldn't have been tampered with. Um, that's just how Burning Shadows goes. You don't really get too many hits. It's really just the hunt for that Charizard. We have a Crabominable and a Mudsdale. But we're about a month out from Shining Fates. At the moment, I don't have any pre-orders set, which is a little concerning, but I'm hoping that my local uh, game store will come in clutch. They're going to open up pre-orders, I think, only in person, uh, starting in like mid-January. But we'll see how that goes, because... Uh, I live in the Los Angeles area, and right now with COVID, things are particularly bad, so um, don't want to go out if I don't have to. But definitely want to be able to secure something, so if anybody knows any good websites where I can get some pre-orders in, let me know, because we have this Mount Lana Kila and Tangro. Let's see, we might get one hit per, uh, per 12 packs, which would be kind of interesting. But yeah, the ratio of pulling... The Rainbow Charizard, I think it's supposed to be like 1 in 1,000 packs, which is just absolutely insane. Like, those odds are literally practically zero at that point. Um, here we're opening up 36 packs, which are not cheap. Um, I mean, they're not like hidden face packs expensive, but... 36 packs, you're really only giving yourself like a 3.5% chance of pulling it. So, it's just crazy how rare that, that card is. And on top of that... Um, the print quality on Burning Shadow just isn't good, as we saw with that Charizard. Honestly, I don't, I don't really know anything about investing into Pokemon cards, but I'd imagine that this Charizard in particular is going to be the Charizard that's worth the most out of any modern Charizard. And I guess, did, it, did we just get back-to-back Seedras? -back that's crazy. But I guess that that's already being reflected, because you just look at PSA 10 values of this Charizard, I'm pretty sure last I saw it was going for like 3,000 plus. Sock and a Necrozma GX. Of course, we're going to be pulling the, the giveaway card. That's just how that goes. All right, we're down to the last third. So far, we just had three regular GXs. I hope we can at the very least get one full art. We have this Rhydon and a Persian. And last code there. I remember when I was buying these, I was like, man, Burning Shadows, it's just so hard to get anything good. Like... I probably should not be doing this. Like, yes, it's a good pr it's a good deal in terms of like price per pack, but uh, I just I could put that money into like hidden face and just have like much more fun opening it. But you just gotta go for it. I gotta take the risk so I can uh, share this with you guys on the channel. Oh, we have something here. Let's see what this is, guys. We have a rescue stretcher. Okay. We got at least one secret rare, so we didn't get robbed on that front. I don't want to say robbed, because obviously you're not guaranteed it, but definitely not the, not the secret rare that you want to pull. Um, but I'm not going to complain too much. I definitely had openings, uh, like my team up opening, where I, I had 36 uh, just like random blisters or sleep packs, and I didn't get a secret rare out of that. Oh, we have this reverse holo charmeleon. That's pretty cool. Um, and I didn't get a secret rare out of it, although... With Team Up, there's cool cards besides the Secret Rare, so that's cool. I think in that one we got a uh, Full Art, Gengar, and Mimikyu, which is pretty cool. And that was in pretty good condition, so I'm definitely going to get it graded. But let's see, we still have a few more packs. Um, obviously, these are sleeve packs, so the ratios aren't really guaranteed in any way. Um, oh, that was kind of stuck together. So let's see if we can come up with something cool. For all we know, we could get another... Um, secret rare. Although I would also really like, I'm not sure, I'm not even sure if it's in the set, but uh, some sort of 
full art uh, dark ride would be cool. Actually, full art ho oh, would be really cool. If you get a nice copy that isn't like messed up in the back, that would be really nice. So here we go. We have a dark ride reverse hollow. That's cool. All right. So overall, with burning shadows and past openings, we've gotten three secret rares. Two of them are gold cards. Looking back on it, oh, we have something here though, actually. We have a Machamp GX. Wow, that looks really sick. Cool. So I'm Gen 1 Nostalgia there. I hadn't pulled that, so that's cool. So in terms of number of hits, usually you can expect like six hits per box. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Um, and we did get a secret rare. So if you got like one full art GX in particular, this wouldn't be bad at all. We have this Rhydon and a Persian. Completely forgot what I was talking about before I pulled that Machamp, to be honest. So let's just keep it going. We have about three more packs, including this one. Not expecting too much since we already got a Seeker Rare. But let's see if we can get one more hit at least. We got this Lycan Rock, which is pretty cool. Just kind of wish that Lycan Rock could stay Rock Rough forever. Alright, second to last pack. See if we can do something cool. We have Sandy Gast and an Electivire. All right, guys, that all comes down to this very last pack. Very, un very, very, very unlikely, but let's see what we can do. Might have to be my last big Burning Shadows opening. At least we were able to walk away with one Charizard and a Secret Rare. Sometimes you really can't ask for more with these Burning Shadows openings. And we get another Reverse Hollow Charmin. Don't really see anything on the side there. We have a Ledeon. All right, everybody, so to recap our pools, we got this Necrozma GX, this Gardevoir GX, this Machamp GX. For a Secret Rare, we got a Rescue Stretcher, really cool looking gold card, and probably the coolest pool, we got a Charizard GX. Unfortunately, the top looks kind of messed up as you guys can see there, so definitely not gonna get it graded, but still a really cool card to have. Overall, I'm happy that I took one last shot at going for that uh, Charizard. I think that it's a really cool Charizard, but Going for it is definitely just way too expensive, so I don't think I'm going to be opening up too many big uh, Burning Shadows openings from now on. But I mean, who knows, maybe keep on posting, the channel grows a bit, and I'm in a position where I can invest a little bit more into it, and that would be really exciting. I really appreciate you guys' support, and I'm going to be giving away this Necrozma GX and this Reverse Hollow Charmander. Again, to win these cards, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, be subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.